Hello Taurus, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna Wilder Hart. This is a love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Taurus. This is a timeless reading that will be published for the first week of September. Like a buffet table, please take the rest. Take what's yours and leave the rest behind. Let's cut the deck here and get into this reading. Okay, bottom of the deck, equal give and take is something that is being considered right now in this relationship. The overall energy is about what's equal. The energy in the recent past, Ten of Wands, Sagittarius energy, feeling like you had to release a burden that is mutual energy between you and your love interest. The person you came to ask about what's the current energy between the two of you devil energy capricorn energy what is the way that your person views the relationship oh leo energy that's a good, great card okay leo energy they feel like there's a lot of courage and fire in the belly for the relationship that you've known each other before very much a soulmate energy with that infinity symbol in my viewpoint all right, how they view you. Taurus energy, Capricorn, Leo. They view you as a person who is not seeing the forest for the trees. They view you as a person who should take their head out of their shoulders, look and see the key, can fit in the door, and they would not be left in the cold. When we look at the energy of the devil it's somebody trying to manipulate okay so both it indicates that both of you are trying to somehow control the situation or something about the relationship but the two of you have fire in the belly okay so how did your person feel in their heart space honey i'm home cancerian energy interesting that is the emperor driving the chariot mastering their emotions to move forward how do they view the way to go forward? Ooh, Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy, very strong earth energy here. Nine of Pentacles. They view the situation as the two of you are both single people trying to work through a relationship. What's the hidden energy between the two of you? Two of Swords. You don't want to even talk to each other right now. Two of Swords energy is like, okay, I don't want to hear the truth. Whatever you do, don't tell me the truth. This, the crows are like picking at her hair. It looks like the birds, the movie The Birds, Alfred Hitchcock. Okay, Spirit is saying that you need to look at things from a different perspective, Taurus. This is your card also, Taurus. Ace of Wands is your outcome. You do want a new beginning in this relationship. Or both of you want a new beginning but that's your outcome there will be a new beginning in the relationship it will be new and it will be initiated by passion so that is fire sign energy okay let's go ahead and clarify these cards Taurus Taurus you've got two two you five and six of Pentacles are Taurus energy so you are in the inner you know you are in this reading why is the six of swords here this is a real issue one person looks like they make a lot less than the other person. It looks like this is an issue for you, Taurus, more than it is them. So what is this about, Taurus? Page of Swords. You feel as though this person doesn't work or look hard enough for another job, interestingly enough. You feel as though they just aren't serious. That it's not something they really want or it's not part of their part of their makeup sort of three of coins okay capricorn energy so this person brings a lot to the table taurus they really do that energy is taurus energy and we look at the three of coins okay so let's see it can be some consider it capricorn okay so anyway, your person feels as though you could really do better financially if you wanted to. Okay. So let's take a look and see why the Ten of Wands is here. Ooh. This relationship has become very burdensome and both of you are trying to stay in the energy of keeping it alive, keeping it working. You're both being very strategic with each other. 
there's, you know, I definitely think that there's some manipulative energy, no doubt about it. That is Aries energy. Ten of Wands reverse. Look at that. That's crazy. Ten of Wands upright is giving up the burdens. Ten of Wands reversed is holding on to them strategically. Neither of you want to give the relationship up. Although it feels overwhelming to both of you, you don't want to give up the relationship. Both of you really want to make this work and you feel as though you'll find your way strategically into a solution if you stick around. Why is the devil energy here? Lover's card reversed. Okay, so when we look at the lover's card, the lover's card reversed is not making a choice. The lover's card reversed is that you might have thought one another was a soulmate, but when we look at the devil card and the lover's card, it's this is the positive side of the relationship, okay? Except it's reversed. So for some reason, you've let this energy slip out of control and you're both in this very controlling energy of the devil card, wanting to sort of be manipulative with the one another. You need to watch out for that. That's not healthy energy at all. Okay. And when we see the the emperor, that's a chess piece. It's per, you know, it's like you're playing some high game, high stakes game of chess and intrigue. 007. Okay. So you both want a victory. So that makes sense, right? Everybody wants a victory. All right, Taurus. So let's see. Why do we have this crazy devil lover's energy? Why is this here? You're both healing. You're both staying silent. You're both working on the relationship. Okay, well, that makes sense. You're trying to work through the problems. Why is the Lion King here? No, why is the Strength card here? You both have fire in your belly. This relationship is like, you feel like soulmates, but it feels tortured. Six of Cups, it looks as though, it looks as though, you want things to be sweet and yet no matter what they aren't it's almost like you want a reunion you want a reconciliation you want to work things through but those cups of love keep getting knocked over no plan stan virgo energy virgo is the master solver of the problem excuse me of the zodiac if virgo can't solve it nobody can we have virgo energy virgo energy here all right taurus taurus come on Oh, honey, my heart goes out to you with this reading. The Five of Pentacles. The Hermit card, see? Oh, my God. Can we get any more Virgo cards here? We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles. Now we have the Hermit card, searching for answers. So that is how your person sees you. They do see you searching for answers. They feel as though the answer is right in front of you, but you don't see it. They do think the world of you. My gosh, they love you dearly. Your person just feels broken hearted. They feel that you're broken hearted. There's the Taurus energy. There you are in your reading, Taurus. So it really speaks to the fact that your person feels as though you are not realistic about relationships and money and how things work. And the Three of Swords, though, they do see you as they also think that you might have an interest in somebody else. Yeah, Three of Swords. You might have deep feelings for someone from the past. They feel as though they can't compete with a memory, right? Okay, why is the Chariot card here? Why is the Chariot card here? Why is the Chariot card here? Your person absolutely thinks that you are their hopes and dreams manifested. They want to work things through. They want to find balance. They want to find answers. They're optimistic. They're in it to win it, my friends, and here they come and wanting to tell you something. They have a lot to say to you. They have some sort of plan. <laughs> Up here they didn't, but now they do. So what's a nine of coins? Okay, to release things. Ah, but when pigs fly. Looks like there could be some children in the mix here. Four of coins, they're holding on, they're holding on. They're not giving much. Two of Cups reversed. They just feel as though this might... They have a feeling of hopelessness here. The Capricorn Queen is your person wants to nurture you. 
They want to revive this relationship. They want it to come back to life. But boy, oh boy, the words that get spoken, the anger that is felt, the pain of swords. Yeah. The two of swords. You don't, neither of you really want to hear it from the other. Neither of you want to hear criticism. You do have fire in your belly, but the, again, we've got the six of coins. There's something that is not equal give and take. Whether it's emotional, whether it's financial, whether it's how you split the split the money, it's no matter what you're doing here. We do get the magician card. Both of you have the power to heal this. Okay. Four of Wands says that you want to live together, you want to get a home together. The Ten of Cups reverse says that you could live together, but it is happily ever after. It's a great energy. It says that you may not want to actually marry to get that energy. Why is Spirit telling you to look at things from a different perspective, Taurus? Stop fighting. Oh, stop it. It doesn't serve you. Leo energy, it's egocentric. Okay, well, you know. I'm not going to, obviously, it takes two to make up and it takes two to break up. So nobody's innocent here. Okay. The Ace of Wands with a very romantic outcome. Be look at this beautiful energy. The Queen of Cups, Cancer, great passion. Pisces energy, romantic energy coming in here. All right. Five of Coins. See, you can't get over that feeling, though. Two of Swords. As you end the week, just nothing seems to improve. Taurus, you feel like you're upside down. You just feel like you just don't know if you can go on. This just seems like the never-ending story. The Ten of Swords, you feel really, you feel really angry. You feel frustrated. You feel like you have to walk away. You can't quite figure out what to do. All right, so this is a challenging energy. Okay, so tell us about this relationship, Spirit, because this is a hot mess. Two people who really love each other, and yet they can't seem to put it together. There's so much love. Milk and honey, it's very sweet. There's so much here. There's a lack of gratitude, maybe? Attitude of gratitude. Loyal heart. You're both being very loyal to each other. And there's the last wisdom of the oracle card that we need. Being flexible. Okay. So an attitude of gratitude would help right now and to really, you know, get out of the ego conflicts and, you know, I'm right, he's wrong, I'm right, she's wrong. You just have to let go of that energy. You cannot make it if you don't. Okay, so let's look and see what the wisdom, the high priestess of light wisdom is for you, the advice. Taurus, oh. please tell me in the comments below what the heck it is for each of you that really makes it so difficult. Because this is just two people who really should be having a good time. On paper, you look like a good match. This looks like a match gone wrong right at the present time. Soul Radiance, Phoenix Rising. Okay, Phoenix Rising. Rising from the ashes. The two of you really are soulmates. Sacred breath and sound, life force and communion. Both of you have old injuries. Both of you have really been around the block in relationship is what my take is. Sensuality, wisdom and passion. Nice, okay. So it does look like the two of you heal a lot in bed <laughs> because we do have the Ace of Wands card as a way the week will end. So you guys have a lot to settle. You have a lot to work on, but you need to work on yourselves before you can work together. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Taurus, thank you so much for your time. Like, subscribe, share, and comment if you would be so kind if you enjoyed the video. Thank you.